Hey, welcome to Shift Heads. Time to make some progress on something. And we're getting ready to put the material on the dashboard. So let's get started. So as you can see, I've pulled the golf cart out and I've made some room here and I've cleaned this all up, blown it off, gotten all the dust and debris off of it, getting it ready for the spray adhesive here. And uh, my little test piece that I put here, the, this stuff did not bleed through the fabric, uh, but it did peel off rather easily. So I was reading the instructions on this and apparently I got to spray it on both sides in order for it to stick really, really good. So. I'm gonna give that a shot. I'm really gonna try to not mess this up and you guys are way over there for a reason. And that's because I don't want my camera getting covered in this crap. So yeah, um, as I'm messing around with that, I'm running into problems instantly. So as I'm trying to get everything stretched out and making it work, and there's a spot right here where the adhesive bled through and there, uh, every time I stretch it, it just, it just kept pulling away from it and I couldn't get it to work right. So it's just, I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to figure out something else to do with this, but as of right now, this is just not going to plan. <sighs> so now I've got to think about something else to do with this. So we'll just set this back in the spot over here. The weather outside is actually really nice and it's getting to that point where it's car show season. And my dad's got a little project that he's been wanting to do for a while. So <clears throat> I think we'll go and get that handled and taken care of. And it's something that's more within my forte. So instead of sitting here and wallowing in my own self-pity of my failed attempt at fixing my dashboard, or, well, not fixing, but making it better, I think I'll go do something productive instead. Oh, well, shit. Change engine oil soon. Add that to the list. All right. So you join me underneath a vehicle that is extremely near and dear to my heart. And I would show you what it is, but I'm kind of waiting to actually do a proper reveal and good video on this particular thing. Uh, my grandfather bought this brand new. My dad's had it since high school. And uh, technically it's half mine because I'm on the title, but came over to do the tie rods on this because the steering's a bit wonky on it. So. While dad's running to get a pickle fork, I'm gonna sit here and try and beat these tie rods out of here underneath this thing with hardly any room for me to move. So yeah, this is gonna be fun. So just to give you an idea of how old this thing is, uh, these are drum brakes. Yes, drums. And they're on the front. And those drum brakes are powered by this one single piston, non-power assisted master cylinder. Yeah. Now for the test drive. Oh, darn, it's not straight. It's only annoying if you look at it. Yeah. <laughs> if you're looking at the road, you'll never see it. grin on your face all about. Uh, I just, I love this thing so much. <laughs> it's 
35 through here, Dad. Oh, let me slow down. <laughs> Jeez. I'm only doing 40. <laughs> Good. I'm glad some improvements were made. I did something productive today. Yeah, <laughs> All right. Good. Man, that's pretty damn straight. Yeah. Well, that's done. That's gonna have to wrap this one up. And don't worry, eventually I'm gonna do a full video with the thing I was just working on. It's just, I need the right time and the right place to do it at. So stay tuned for it. But hey, that's gonna cut it out for today. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.